Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Uh, so over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about achieving your uh, 2022 goals and making the most of these last couple of months of the year. So hopefully uh, you've been following my advice and applying it uh, as much as possible and feeling the benefits as well. So um, we can just feel super successful and fitter, healthier going into winter mode and uh, getting a head start on 2023 as well. So um, last week I was talking about nutrition, but the week before that I was talking about exercise and just trying to add a bit more sort of calorie burning cardio exercise. That's going to be good for calorie burning, as I say. So making way for um, some Christmas indulgence um, over or uh, partying and etc and just uh, yeah enjoying yourself over the next couple of months but we just need to kind of probably earn that a little bit perhaps so um so yeah uh making way for that and just also working on your fitness bo uh, boosting your immunity as well getting us healthy energized going into winter mode um so yeah Cardio is great for all of that, just gets you feeling good, gets the endorphins going when it's kind of dark nights, weather's not so good, and um, we just want to feel good. So yeah, increasing your cardio in some way. I gave you some options of how to do that depending on where you're at currently. Um, so this week, all I want to say on that really is to keep it going. You don't necessarily need to do any more, um, but you do just need to keep it going what you have been doing. We just need to be consistent. So if you were um, aiming to do, as I said, if you're doing sort of lower intensity exercise with the Pilates yoga and maybe you set yourself the goal, you thought, I know, I'm going to start walking sort of a couple of times a week with a friend or something. If you've been doing that a couple of times a week, fantastic. You might want to add in um, a third extra walking session or, or something, um, but you don't have to. You just have to keep going with the, the two that you started. And, and it's going to get harder because we're getting darker nights. We're getting colder. We're getting the worst possible weather. Um, so it it's a test of your um, commitment to this. Um, enough. It's enough of a test. Um, by just keeping going. So that's why I'm not going to make you uh, increase um, anything ab about it. I just want you to, to stick with what you said you were going to do and be consistent with it. The same for if you're at the, uh, I said, if you were already doing a little bit of sort of moderate intensity cardio sort of activity, like walking or just gentle sort of cardio exercise. And I said sort of about upping it, adding some higher intensity intervals uh, or some kind of higher intensity cardio. Um, then, uh, yeah, just doing what you've already started or making sure that you keep going or, or stick to it as best as possible um, over the next sort of couple of months. And then if you were already doing some higher intensity, I was saying about just sort of adding on some maybe calorie burning sort of moderate intensity. So just getting the best of both worlds, really. So doing a bit of the higher intensity stuff that is going to work you hard, get you fitter, um, really good for your body, um, really good energizer and really good for yeah, building fitness, burning loads of calories, but then also doing some of the gentle stuff that's working on your stamina and um, and just burning some extra calories um, all in all and um, increasing your endurance, cardio endurance. So just doing that a little bit more. But as I said, we're not trying to do any more than what we set out to do a couple of weeks ago. We're just trying to be consistent with it. So that's my clear, that's my uh, uh, message this week. I'm trying to be as clear and concise as possible. Keep doing what you've been doing already and uh, I will see you next week with some more top tips.